Hi, this is Mr. Carlini. Our plan is to go over the last few vocab words that you have on your vocab sheet. I put that out to you in an email oh, last week, uh, and uh, we worked on it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday we did something uh, a little different. We did some PowerPoints and things like that. But today we're going, on Friday, we are getting back to this um, this vocab sheet. We're finishing it up. And the last, the last part of this vocab sheet is um, estimating plates. It says estimating studs formula. And that is for 16 inches on center and uh, 24 inches on center. So we're going to, you know, you're going to go through this. I want you to take all the notes because there is a quiz that you're going to be taking when this is over. So it's going to be worth a few points. It's worth five points to watch the video. Take your notes. You don't have to turn your notes into me. But the quiz is going to, uh, you know, test to see if you actually took the notes. Okay, so let's get started on this. First thing we have is estimating plates, and I want to remind you what plates are. Plates are the, uh, we see it, the bottom part of every wall or par partition. It's the Top 2x4, 2x6 on the wall, and the double top plate. So the formula for estimating, estimating plates would be the length of your wall We are going to take the length of your wall, multiply that by 3, because there's three plates. You have a, a sole plate, a top plate, and a double top plate. So we're going to times whatever length wall we need to build by 3. And then we will divide that whole amount by whatever length boards we're going to be using. Okay, so if you're calculating up a whole house, you're just going to be buying 16 footers to do this. All right? If you only have one 10-foot wall to build, well, it's 10 feet times 3, which is 30 feet. And then you're going to divide it by, well... You know, why would you buy 16 footers if you're only building a 10 foot long wall? So you're going to, um, you're going to buy 10 foot boards. So 30 feet divided by 10 will tell you you need three 2 by 4 by 10s or 2 by 6 by 10s, depending on whatever thickness of wall you're going to use. Okay? So it is the length of the wall times by three, and then we are going to divide that by. Length of board. Okay? So whenever you're, you're, you're doing what they call takeoff off of a set of blueprints, you take the measurements right off of there, and professional estimators, this is what they do. They sit in an office all day. They read the, they read the blueprints. They... Um, they take, they do takeoffs. They get the quantities. They just add up all the lengths of all the walls, and this is how they start coming up with materials that they're going to need. So we have a set of blueprints here, and we're going to look at this wall. This wall on this set of blueprints says that it's 20 feet long. Let's use that as an example to show how this math problem is done. So we're going to plug this formula into it. Remember, it's length of wall times 3 divided by the length of the boards. So this is, that's your divided by sign. 
All right, so we have this 20 foot long wall. Let's just plug it into the, uh, into the equation. So the length of our wall is 20 feet. We're going to times it by three. Okay, that'll equals 60 feet. Let's use 16 foot long two by fours to frame this wall because it's going to be a two by four wall. So we are going to divide it by 16 feet. That's the length of our board. And that gives us a quantity of, now I have to do some math because my calculator is right here. And this equals 3.75. So what does that mean? We need 3.75 boards that are 16 feet long for this. Because we decided to use 16 footers. Okay? So, what's, remember, it's always quantity first. And we're going to say 3.75. Can we go to the lumberyard and say, I would like 3.75 16 foot 2 by 4s? No. You are going to have to buy 4. There we are. So we're going to have four, two by four by 16 footers, okay? Two by four by 16 footers. <laughs> so we went over our plates. Now we're going to talk about studs, how to calculate the amount of studs for a wall. So here's some formulas I have. First, you need to know... Are we framing our, our, on, our studs 16 inches on center or 24 inches on center? And it matters because, um, you know, if we're going 16 on center, that's one extra stud every four feet as opposed to the two feet, 24 inches on center. So, studs. Our studs <clears throat> for 16 inches on center, and we're going to do this one. And our calculation for that is, we take the length of the wall, we times by 0.75, and add 1. So let's explain why, why we add 1. So our length of wall times by 0.75. 0.75 comes from, from this. I'm going to explain it to you. One foot is three quarters of a 16 inch space. So that's what, 0.75 is equal to three quarters. So that's where that 0.75 comes from. Um, so let's go back to our wall that we're framing over here off of our blueprints. We said we had a 20 foot long wall. I don't want to forget that, plus one. Plus one's important. Whenever we take the length of our wall, we times it by 0.75. That's going to tell me how many 16-inch spaces there are. Spaces. So if you take a look at <clears throat> any wall that we have, we could even look at this wall behind me here. Where's our corner? Okay, here's our corner. Now, if we come over, now our measurements are taken off the outside of the wall, so it doesn't look very big here. But if we come over this way, 16 inches, 32 inches, 48 inches, 64 inches, 80 inches, 96 or 8 feet. Okay? So if you look at that, you would count up that there's actually six spaces in there. But there's something that we're missing, okay? At the end of every space, of end of every stud space, there is a stud. Except for the first one that we did. There is one at the end, but we have to account for the very first stud that's in there. So that's why we're adding one. If your measurement comes up as a decimal, always round up and then add one. So in this case... Length of wall times by 0.75. Let's go back to our 20 foot long wall. Plug it into the formula. 20 feet times by 0.75.
Whatever our answer is, if it has a decimal after it, I don't care if it's 0 0.01, 0 0.01 spaces is still a space, okay? But we will round up only if there's a decimal, and then we have to add 1. So 20 times 0.75 will give us 15. That's 15 spaces between the studs. Now we have to add 1 for the first one. Plus 1 equals 16. That's our quantity. Okay? The length of our studs will be whatever height the wall is going to be. If we're building 8 foot tall walls, it'll be 8 foot studs. If they're 9 foot walls, they do make a pre-cut stud for 9 foot walls. Uh, if they're 10 foot, 12 foot walls, they're going to be that length. You could even take a look down here in this big room. We have 12 foot studs for this for this room. And we have So let's get back to our quantities. How do we call out how many studs we're going to need? Well, we already said we were using a 2x4 wall when we calculated the plates. So if we're using plates that are 2x4s, the studs are going to be 2x4s. If we're 2x6 plates, then the studs will be 2x6. But let's stick with our 2x4s. So here's our quantity now. We need 16 2 by 4 by whatever length or whatever height your wall is going to be. Let's say that they're 8 feet like they are in this room. So these would be 8 footers. I would need to buy for that one wall, I would need to buy 16 2 by 4 by 8s. Plus I would need my plates. We already calculated those. And that would be uh, 4 2 by 4 by 16s for the plates. That's what we would need to calculate that wall at a 20 foot long. Okay, 24 inches on center. If we were to place our studs 24 inches center to center, we would be looking at a slightly different formula. So our studs, 24 inches on center, place 24 inches on center. The formula is length of wall, times by 0.5. It's 50% of the length of the wall is how many studs you need. You need one every other foot. So it's t length of wall times by 0.5. And again, we add one for that space for the same reason that we add it for the, when we did the 16 on center spaces. Okay, so let's do that 20 foot long wall and see what we come up with this time. 20 feet times by 0.5 plus 1. So 20 times 5, or, or 20 times 0 0.5 is 10, plus 1 equals 11. That's our quantity. And now we need to just put in the boards whatever we're using. Quantity first, always. Quantity dash. Now we're going to say 2 by 4 by whatever height our walls are going to be. If we're doing 8 foot tall walls, it'll be a 2 by 4 by 8. If it's 10 foot tall walls, 2 by 4 by 10s. In this case, we're going to go 8 foot. I need 11 2 by 4 by 8s just for studs. And we still need those same four plates, 2 by 4, 2 by 4 by 16s for the plates. For the sole plate, the top plate in the double top plate. And that should get you everything you need. Okay, so that works nice and easy for whatever we're, um, whenever we just have one straight wall. But that's not always the case. So there's some other things we have to add in. Notice we have windows. We have two windows in this wall. We also have an intersecting wall where there will be a partition post. And we also have a corner. So corner posts, uh, like you saw in the videos I showed you the other day, they take extra studs, okay? If we were just calculating this one wall, 
this is a non-load bearing wall and it fits between these two walls, we wouldn't need any extra framing on the ends. It would just start off with one stud on each end and our formula that we did already would be perfect for that. But these walls here, being our load bearing walls, we're going to have that's going to start off with a stud, but out here we're going to have a corner post. So corner posts and partition posts and windows all have something else to add. Now here's some things I'm not going to hit you with on the quiz, but it's important to know because you actually are going to have to calculate this on a job site. So for what extra studs that we need to add for these other things. Corners, for every corner post we need to make, you add one stud for each corner post. For every window that you install that you're going to frame, You will add four uh, studs for every window that you frame. For every partition post that you have to install, that means wherever you have another wall teeing into another wall, you will have to add one, but if you're doing the, uh, the old style, you will have to add three. Okay, but if you're doing the modern style that I said I like to do, you're only gonna have to add in one. Okay, but it's a good practice just to add three for every partition post. One for every corner where two walls butt together. Four for every window or door. And let's say this is doors also. Doors and windows, put four more for every opening that is in that wall. Okay, well that's all I have for today. I'm going to have you go online and take a quiz after you watch this video. Uh, write all this stuff down, put it on your vocab sheet, and we're going to see what you learn. Hey, I wanted to tell you about this little dude. This is Scuzzy Ernie. Uh, Scuzzy Ernie is featured in most of my videos. If you find him, and you're taking one of my classes, what I want you to do is point it out to me. Send me an email. Say, hey, Mr. Carlini, I found Scuzzy Ernie. He's sitting on whatever it would be. He, don't say he's sitting on something in the background. You explain that maybe he's sitting on a stair stringer or he's sitting on an electrical panel. Use some sort of construction term, something we've learned in our class, and I'll give you a couple extra points credit for that day. Hey, it's midnight. It's pretty late. So this concludes our lesson for today. Um, do what you need to do and have a good weekend. Take care.